what is needed for human race is already done on the cross 2000 years ago everything whatever is needed for the human race is already done so that's what I always say that so anytime when we read the Bible we are looking backward to an incident that happened on the cross 2000 years ago in Jesus so 2000 years ago what happened in Jesus that was for the whole world in that event or in the death burial and resurrection God put the whole human race in Jesus I wanted to get this point Jesus God never did anything for any one person I want you to get this point very clear eh? God never did anything for one person God did everything in Christ for the human race everything what is needed for human race is done in Christ by putting you in him get this point everything I'm going to emphasize this keep keep on emphasizing everything what is needed for human race is already done on the cross 2000 years ago by God putting you in him so now so Jesus God did everything in Christ so does that mean every person in the world is saved no you partaking how you're partaking in that crucifixion death burial and resurrection is by your believing Th that's why it's like when we stand on the judgment day nobody in the world can say you didn't involve me no you were in me but you didn't never believed it how glorious is it see you have to understand uh, when Adam sinned, it affected the whole human race. Because Adam was the first person in that race. So everything would happen to Adam, it happened to the whole human race. I want you to get this principle. So what God did is like, he did a work in Christ and you were in Christ. And whatever Christ is now, you are. Huh? Are, are you are you getting this like whatever Christ went through you went through now right now what is happening is that you are aligning to what happened on the cross 2000 years ago that is the finished work of Jesus on the cross now I'm going to give a big point okay Jesus did the work so we understand the whole finished work. Think about it. It's a person who read the book, who read a lot of book, and understood this is what Jesus did, this is what Jesus did. So that's like he learned the theory. He learned the, uh, everything, uh, everything what Jesus did on the cross. He learned it. Does that enough? No. The person who completed the work, that person has to come inside of you to see the manifestation. Oh, are you seeing that? <laughs> the same person who finished the work has to be in you to get that manifested. You, you see that? See, that's why when you really understand deeper and deeper into the grace, you will see that, oh my God, you, will, you cannot even think about a single thing that is silly to uh, the, the legalist. That, that, that might not be a sin for the legalist, those who live by the laws but when you deeper when you get deeper and deeper into the grace understanding that will blow up as a big sin for you even a thought because grace will get you to a deeper level of understanding of what is sin and what is real life are you getting it when a person who live by the law is looking at the outcome but when a person get deeper into Christ, deeper into grace, he will go to the deeper level of the root level. Am I seeing it? Are you seeing it? That is one of the things that oh, there is so much uh, opposition against the grace message because the devil knows it. If the person understands the root problem, he's going to eradicate that problem. 
as long as you're cutting off only the outcome <laughs> it's never you will never come out as fully free person but grace will get you to the root and will chop that root of the sin and get you totally free from sin that is why I, I love this grace message because the more and more deeper you get in the holiness is the only way that is coming out from a deeper understanding of grace you understand it? the work is done 2000 years ago that knowledge of the work is not just enough you need the same person who did the work to be inside of you to see the manifestation <sighs> are you seeing it the work is done Sometimes we think, okay, God did the work and he left to the heaven saying, I did the work and now it's up to you. You go ahead and finish it because you know that you have the knowledge. It's not true. The person who ordered, he only can manifest in you. That's why the intimacy with Christ is so much in need in a Christian life. Christ, who, the Jesus who did the work, now Christ is in you to manifest it. That's why it is impossible for a person to think about a sinful lifestyle by living under grace because grace will connect you to the person Jesus. The more deeper you understand about the finished work, what is happening is that you be become an intimate relationship with the person Jesus. When you are in intimate relationship with the person Jesus, what is happening is that you are so much uh, entangled with the person Jesus, you don't have time to think about anything of this world. Are you seeing it? Okay, now I'm going to give you a really powerful couple of things which I want you to think on that one. Can somebody check it, okay? So, example, when God created the human race, God created Adam, God created Adam in the image and likeness of God. Image and likeness of God and, and for that image and likeness of God to be maintained, God has to be in Adam. God created man, Adam, in the image and likeness of God. Now for to maintain that image and likeness, God has to be in Adam. By God dwelling in Adam, God can maintain the image and likeness, not by Adam alone. I want you to get this point. This is powerful. What Adam did is that instead of God coming and dwelling in to maintain the image and likeness, Adam chose, I will do with the knowledge of good and evil. With by my ability to choose good and uh, uh, choose the good and evil and do the good, by that way I will maintain the image and likeness of God. Are you, are you getting this? This is, this is the key of the Bible to understand everything in the New Covenant. Because man was created in the image and the likeness of God, that image and likeness can be only maintained by the life of God, not by man. So God wanted man to choose by his own free will to have the life of God in him and let his life, let his life maintain the image and likeness, let his life, through his life, let the man be led and dominate the earth. Are you getting it? Huh? So, so your life, man's life from the very beginning, God wanted man to live by his life. Not by his own soul. By thinking about now, what happened is like when Adam sinned, what happened is that instead of choosing the human race to live by the life of God, having the soil life come inside of Adam and maintain the image of likeness, what happened is that when Adam committed that high treason, what happened? The whole human race fell down into a place where uh, the man has to live by the soul. Knowledge of good and evil. Leave, uh, he fell down, I explained last time, he fell down into the five senses. Now, based on his understanding, he chose what is good, what is evil. Are you seeing that? Because man by his own ability doesn't know what is good and what is evil. What is good to me may not be good to you. What is evil to you may not be evil to me. So man by his own soul knowledge can never live by the law. Never live by the knowledge of good and evil. Man from the day one the prescription for man to live is by the life of God. 
Do you get the point? This is so clear. That is why now you see a human race. I'm explaining, I explained it the same thing many, many times before. Uh, so you see, you know that the life that was hidden, you, you could say the tree of life was an embodiment of the life of God, where man could partake the tree of life and have the life of God in him. But when Adam, uh, by his own free will choice, decided to partake the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, what happened is that the access to the tree of life was cut off and he was kicked out from the garden and thereby the whole human race lost the opportunity to live by the life. Now we are seeing a world that is driven, that is founded on the five senses based on the human soul. Now in Christianity, when you come back, when you got the life of Jesus back, the world live by the five senses. You live by the life of Christ inside of you. Hallelujah. Is it? Are you getting it? Huh? Because unless you get this point, you really don't know what is what is meant by living by laws and living by life. God wanted you to live by the life from the day one. But now what happened is because of the Adamic fall, a world has been created based on the laws and regulations. So we can't think about a life without the rules and regulations because we never seen. But prescription for man for the day one is live by him. That's why when Jesus came, I am here to give you the life, the abundant life. I am your life. Please. I am the bread of life. I am the life. The 4,000 years man could not get into it. Now I paid the price of Adamic treason and I paid everything what is needed to redeem the man on the cross. And now I am asked, you can come back to me. What was, uh, what was cut off in the Garden of Eden was the tree of life. Man lost the access to the tree of life. Now, after Paying the price on the cross, the whole human race now is invited back to have the life. Are you, are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So you have to think about it like now. Let's get to the... So after the cross, like you see that everything is done. Now what this is so clear to understand is that everything is done. That doesn't mean that by knowing all those theory and you're going to get it done okay i know the theory now i'm no 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 the person who did the work he has to be in you to get it manifested okay i, I give you an example imagine this will be easy for us to understand it imagine uh, somebody a rich person give you a house 200 million dollars worth house he gave you totally free but he said you have to pay the tax, you have to pay the electric bill, you have to take care of it, you have to maintain it, but I gave you the house totally free, $200 million. There is two options. Either you pay it your own, you do somehow, I don't know how you're gonna make it, but you have to take care of it, you have to maintain it. Or the other choice is that you invite me to come in, in your house, I will live with you, I will take care of you. 200 million dollars house, even the electric bill may be costing $10,000 a month. Or maybe your tax bill may be $20,000 or $100,000 a month. He gave you free. Either you maintain it by your own works or you invite me into that house. I will live inside the house. I will maintain it with you, for you. That was the option that was given in the Garden of Eden. The image and likeness has been given, freely given. You wanted me to come inside of you and I will maintain it or you live by the knowledge of good and evil, you're dead. Did you get that example good? Like I was thinking about, oh my God, this is what, this is what happened. That, $200 million house is not worth to live because you can't even pay the heating bill. 
it is free somebody gave you free but that person the person who gave you free has to be in that house to maintain it you by yourself cannot maintain it exactly the same thing the author of salvation he, he has he has put you the image and likeness has given to you but for you to maintain the image and likeness of God the same person has to come inside of you and let him live through you this is Christian life. Right. Somebody, Jesus Christ living through you. So the importance is that you must know the finished work, so what to believe. The importance of knowing the finished work is that because the person you invited, when you believe and receive Jesus as the Lord, what is Lord? The Lord means he owns something. He is the Lord of the work that is finished. Lord of my new creation. He is Lord of everything that I own. Now you accepted him inside of you. Now he's saying, you just rest. I will maintain the image and likeness. I will maintain it. Don't worry about it. See, what happened is that the world is trying to maintain it by their own ability. No, it's not going to happen. Are you seeing it? This is why, like, think about it, that you have the $200 million house and Jesus come and saying that, I will stay in your house. I will maintain it. I will keep it. Just the way as you got it. The same image and the same likeness. You just invite me in your house and trust me. And trust me. This is exactly what is salvation. Invite me in your, in your life. I will maintain it. But you trust me. Hmm? You getting it? You get it? So, so there, is, there should be no room for doubts that okay, this will lead you to, uh, uh, to sin. No. There, there is no way. The other way is like, think about it. Like, you're saying that you, you, you need the laws to maintain your, uh, maintain your image and likeness. You are actually saying that, God, I can do it. Can you say it? Can you, can you think about it? Like, you say, you're actually saying is that, when you say that I need the rules and regulations to lead a holy life, or I need those things, what you're actually saying is that I can manage it. I can manage it, God. The standard that you have put for me, I can manage it. My own, my own self. Are you getting the point? Okay, now let's get to... So, so I explained that last time about the spirit, soul, and the body. The finished work... Jesus has completed everything for your spirit. Everything what is needed for your spirit is already done. And in the soul is the mind, will, and the emotions where we grow in the knowledge of the finished work. As the body, if you look at the body, the body is actually controlled by the five senses. But as soon as you, you, you learn, you grow more in the knowledge of who you are in Christ, what is happening is that you're thinking, you started living in your new reality. You think it? Huh? So let's get to the... Um, does anybody ask any question? Any, any? Because I wanted you to think, think, think about it. This is what it is. That's why it is impossible for man to maintain that $200 million. It is impossible. Nobody has maintained that standard. Nobody can maintain it. Only the owner. The only the creator who gave you that image and likeness, only he can maintain that image and likeness. All you have to do is that invite him in your life and then rest and have faith in him. He will do it through you. Now, I said before, yeah. everything what happened in Jesus, everything had happened to Jesus. It happened to the whole human race. This principle has to get in your head. Jesus has not done anything, any single thing just for the believers. People believe it and, ha and, 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 and received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And those who have the Lordship of Christ, they are the one who is entering into the eternal life. Everything is done for the whole world, but as long as we don't believe and partake in it, the whole thing has no effect on your life. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Everything is done for the whole human race. But if a person doesn't believe and acknowledge it, reckon it, and grow in it, the whole work that Jesus did on the cross 
has no effect on your life. That's why graces make, make no effect on your life. So that's why believing, believing is very important. Believing is very important. And so that's why like when we preach this gospel to the whole world, all they need to know is that what happened to them. We are not telling them to change, change, change. We are telling them what happened to them on the cross 2,000 years ago. When they understand this has happened to them 2,000 years ago in Jesus, what they say, oh my God, this happened to me. So he is my Lord. Amen. I wanted him to maintain that. Are you seeing that? I got this holiness. I got this righteousness. I got every character, every qualities that Jesus has. I'm the new creation in Christ and I need him inside of me to maintain that. Okay, now. Our, okay, the Romans uh, 6.10 For in that he died, he died and to sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth and to God. Likewise, reckon you also yourself and to, to be dead indeed and to sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Can you see that? First it says that, the verse 10 says that, for in that he died, he died unto sin once. Jesus died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Now, now next verse. Likewise, reckon you also, you yourself, to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ. Are you seeing that? Whatever happened to Jesus is happened to you. That's your victory. Jesus went to the cross. I was in Jesus. I went to the cross. I was dead. I was buried. And, and I was resurrected with Jesus. Now, when I believe and receive him as my Lord and Savior, he come inside of me and to maintain what God has already put, put for me. Hmm? Okay. Now, now, this is very command. This is a command. Let not sin, therefore reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Therefore, think about it. This is the grace teaching. Aga paabal nengal the marthi sharirathil adine mohangala anseri ke maru ini wale rude. Because you are dead to sin. You are dead to sin. When Jesus was dead to sin, you are dead to sin. Know it, and reckon it, and know and grow in the knowledge of. Are, are you are you seeing it? So the deliverance is based on when you know it, reckon it, and grow in the knowledge of what happened in Christ. In the jivatil, either area ila. You're looking for a deliverance. You're looking back to the cross and you're aligning yourself reckoned with Christ. Am I, are you connecting? Because huh? I, I feel like it'll struggle a little bit there. Agayal, Papa Ningal de Marthi Sheridatil, Adinda Mohangala, and Sirikimar, any water. Sin shall not have any dominion over you. Because you're dead, your old man, the man that forced you to do sin, has been dead in Christ. So the more you believe he's dead, the more you see the manifestation of the new man's life through you. Huh? We'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go one by one. There was another verse which, uh, which was like uh, I was looking into it in the morning. Ah, this is it. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. You, you read this very carefully. Knowing this, 
that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. For the body of sin to be destroyed, you must know it. You have a body of sin. Every man has a body of sin. That means the Adamic body that we have. And, and, and the soul which is fallen. That is called the body of sin. The part of you which is not born again is called the flesh. I want you to get this point. The only part born again, completely new, is the spirit part. The other two parts. Your body is still Adamic. Nothing happened to the, uh, the body, physical body of man. Are we getting it? Huh? So when Jesus died on the cross, the human race, everything what we are talking is about the spiritual sense. Everything what happened is in the spirit. The body is still Adamic. Nothing happened to the body yet. So for the, for the body of sin to be destroyed, you must know what happened to you in the spirit realm. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of that, the body of sin might be destroyed. That henceforth we should not serve sin. Why believers, even after they are born again, many years, still serving sin because they never know it, they never reckon it, they never grow in that knowledge. There is no other way you can escape from this body of sin. The body of sin that you and me have it from Adamic fall, there is no other way you can escape it other than knowing what happened to you on the cross. This is essential. This is something that you have to grow. Next to verse, the sin shall not have dominion over you. I want you to learn. It is like a commandment. You, it is your responsibility to learn, know it, and reckon it. What happened to you on the cross? It is your responsibility. If you haven't done it, God, I didn't do it. No, that's why God is giving every opportunity for the whole human race, especially in this generation. They have Facebook, they have YouTube, they have 200 different versions of Bible because you, it is your responsibility to know it. You have no excuse when we uh, stand in the presence of God at the uh, judgment time and say, I didn't hear it. No. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. We should not serve sin. That is the deep level of grace teaching. We should not serve sin. But how we do not serve sin, how the path to get there is not by following laws. The path to get there is by believing on the finished work and grow in that knowledge. If anybody has a question of that grace is giving license to do sin, they really don't understand the grace teaching. The grace teaching will get you to the root of the sin and uproot it, pluck it out. That's why the more deeper you get into the grace understanding, what happens is like sin automatically get plucked out from your life. You don't even know when did it get plucked out. You know that, oh my God, the thing which I had it before, I don't know when it happened. It's not, it's not manifesting anymore. Are, 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 you, are you getting what I'm saying? Huh? So knowledge is very essential. Knowing this, it is your responsibility. <laughs> Okay, in the corner. knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. We should not. For he that is dead is freed from sin. He that is dead is freed from sin. How? How did you die? By believing. In Jesus, you died. Now, how you're going to experience that death right now? By believing. That's why we are called believers. Angane marichavar, engane marichavar. Engane? Vishwasiji marichavar. Angane marichavar, pabatil nindu mojanam prabhi chirikindu. Are you getting it? Angane marichavar. Nai pramanam ketu marichavar alla. Nai pramanat inde palikya mendi chayidu marichavar alla. Angana Marichavar, Eshu in Odu Gudanyanu Marichu, 
എന്ന് വിശ്വസിച്ച് ആ വിശ്വാസത്തിൽ വളർന്ന് വരുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കാണ് ആ ഡെത്ത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങും ഓക്കെ നാം ക്രിസ്തുവിനോടുകൂടെ മരിച്ചു എങ്കിൽ അവനോടുകൂടെ ജീവിക്കും എന്ന് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഫോർ ഇഫ് വി ബി ഡെഡ് വിത്ത് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് വി ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഷാൽ ഓസോ ലീവ് വിത്ത് ഹിം സപ്പോ ഒരു മരണം ആവശ്യമാണ് Okay, I want you to get this point. So, without the death, you're not going to see the resurrection life. <laughs> For you to experience the resurrection life, you must first get through the death. There is no crown without the cross. So, you always what happened is like we wanted to experience the resurrection life without believing the death of the old man has happened in Christ 2,000 years ago. When you start believing and growing in the knowledge of the death, what is going to happen is that you are going to see the life of him start manifesting. Is it? If, if, it's a conditional. If we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. It's conditional. If. If you believe your death in Christ and grow in that knowledge, you are going to see the resurrected life of Christ through you. See, where is the work? That's his way. There is no work. Where is the work? The new covenant, where is the work? Because all the work that Jesus has done, all the things that he has done, all the things that he has done, all the things that he has done. Can you believe that? That's what I said. I was here in the first place. I was here in the first place. നമ്മൾ ലോകത്തിൽ നോക്കിയാല് എവറി റിലിജൻ ഈസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ കർമ്മ വർക്ക് 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 യു വർക്ക് യു വേ ഔട്ട് ടു ഗാഡ് യു ഡു ഗുഡ് വർക്ക്സ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് ടു ഗാഡ് ബട്ട് യേശു എന്താ ചെയ്താൽ ചോദിച്ചാൽ വലിയൊരു കർമ്മം കാൽവറി കോശി ചെയ്തിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു എല്ലാ മനുഷ്യനും ചെയ്യാനുള്ള കർമ്മം ഞാൻ ഫുൾഫിൽ ചെയ്തു നാവ് ബിലീവ് ഓൺ മൈ കർമ്മ സോ ഇപ്പോഴും സാൽവേഷൻ കർമ്മായി കൂടെ ആണോന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ കർമ്മയാ പക്ഷെ നിന്റെ കർമ്മത്തിൽ കൂടെ അല്ല യേശുവിന്റെ കർമ്മത്തിൽ കൂടെ How many of the church preaches this? Only faith. Believe the finished work. That's why I, I love to hear the finished work because the, when you understand the finished work, the the tendency for you to do work is over you get that when the more you dig deeper into the finished work what is happening is that the tendency for me to do do is getting completely gone now said so it's only for me to believe believe that doesn't mean that we are not doing anything because we are expecting the fruit to manifest because i'm dead now i i started experiencing the death of christ I'm dead. I said it I think last time I ex- I said it like uh, any time um if you experience uh, the old man's nature in you the man who's a sinner which died with Christ if you see that man's nature the old man's nature in you you have to say that this cannot happen. You dead man. This should not happen through me. You, are you, are you, are you see that when you see anger that is coming through you you are born again and you are expecting uh, your resurrected life and you see certain negative things like anger jealousy or, or things like the the worldly people's nature that is coming out to you what you have to deal with is that you should say no 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 i'm not the owner of i'm not the uh, i I'm, i don't have this nature you you see that even though it is manifesting in your life you when you grow in the knowledge of the finished work you say no 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 it's not me you are correct it's not me get it out so you are going to believe it like even though you see something something negative in your life you say no 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 this is my identity who i am in christ that is what when you start growing in the knowledge what is happening is that every time something negative something of the old man's nature that is started manifesting in your life you are not going to agree with it instead of agreeing with it you say then get out it's not me this is what i am i'm righteous i'm holy 
ദൈവം നമ്മളെ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നുള്ള യേശു കർത്താവ് നിന്നെ കുറിച്ച് എന്തോ പറയുന്നത് അതുപോലെ അങ്ങ് വിശ്വസിക്കുക ബിക്കോസ് ഹ്യൂമൻ മൈൻഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫോൾ നേച്ചർ വട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഇസ് ദറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് എ വെയ്റ്റ് ടു ദ റീസൺ ഇറ്റ് ഔർ വിസ് നോ 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 ഐ എം സീങ് സോ മെനി ഇഷ്യൂസ് ഇൻ മൈ ലൈഫ് സോ മെനി നെഗറ്റീവ് ഐ മീൻ സോ മെനി തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഓഫ് ദ വേൾഡ്ലി തിങ്സ് ഇൻ മൈ ലൈഫ് സോ ഐ എം വേൾഡ്ലി നോ just just get that th- th- thought out because the thing is like you have in uh, grown to the level of total death are you seeing that as you are growing in the knowledge of your old man's death what is happening is that this manifestation started reducing are you seeing it huh? uh, my my point today is is is, is coming early but i have to get again the foundation so are you are you getting it huh? Huh? so the thing is like when you took a decision that i'm born again i'm righteous i'm holy what the devil wanted to do is that they were wanted to manifest the old man's nature i said that, no 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 you're not born again this is what you are that's your faith that's the time that you exercise your faith even though your five senses is talking that you are a bad person but you should say i am not based on what i i see i i, I feel i'm i am who i am based on who i am in christ which is written in the bible are you are you saying that so that's why you had to boldly you had to say it i am i am healed i'm holy i am rich because that's what you are undanna vishwasikkumbol ullathu vyabarikkum njan nerthe paranju sagelathu nivrthiyaya kartavu 2000 varsham munbe sagelathu nivrthiyayi nivrthiyaki manushanu vendi now when you believed and received him as your lord he is in you and what he wanted to be in you is to manifest what you are believing <laughs> this is this is like you cannot manifest anything without him in you because that's why jesus said without him you can do nothing you can't do nothing without his work as well as his presence in you right now <laughs> did you get it so how important is jesus in your life രണ്ടായിരം വർഷം മുമ്പ് യേശു ചെയ്തതെല്ലാം ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിച്ചു ഇനി ഞാൻ എന്റെ എഫർട്ടിൽ ഞാൻ കുറച്ച് റൂൾസ് ആൻഡ് റെഗുലേഷൻ വെച്ചിട്ട് ഐ ഗോ ടു മാനിഫെസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ദ ചർച്ച് ജീസസ് ഡിഡ് എവറിങ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ട്രൂ ബ്രദർ ബട്ട് ദ തിങ് ഇസ് നൗ ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് ഓഫ് ട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ജീസസ് ഹൂ ഇസ് ഇൻ മീ റൈറ്റ് നൗ ടു മാനിഫെസ്റ്റ് വട്ട് ഐ എം ബിലീവിംഗ് ഫോർ യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലൈക്ക് ബൈപാസ് ജീസസ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈങ് ടു ഡു ഇറ്റ് യുവർ ഓൺ സെൽഫ് ട്രൈങ് ടു കീപ് ദ ഇമേജ് are you are you getting it this is this is why i call like a, you have to be very careful like a, he did everything now it's like grow in the knowledge grow in the knowledge grow in the knowledge what happened for us is like uh, many times like when we believe in the finished work we we have we don't have patience we want to see that manifestation immediately now it will take time i'm telling you it will take time it may take years but your even though it takes years and you will see the manifestation of the old man but your belief should be on this side i am this is not this is who i am in christ this is my identity i don't care what i see on this side that is why you need to be in a fellowship that is the fellowship is like a a, a group of believers they are agreeing together think about it you are seeing a manifestation i am seeing a manifestation of the old man so we we know that okay if manu i see a manifestation a negative uh, an old man's manifestation of manu instead of reacting to that old man i should be telling him you are the old new creation i i give an example like a, uh, in corinthian second corinthians nath corinthian church nath uttri adultery and fornication has happened in the corinthian church do you know how paul deal with it Paul was reminding them don't you know that you are the body of Christ <laughs> Paul was trying to awaken them to their true reality in Christ instead of focusing their attention to the sin he said don't you know that you are the body of Christ how can you be in the body of Christ and have fornication with the other side can you see that so it's like an awakening the body of Christ is trying to awaken one another this is what your identity because when you are living in this world you have a strong tendency to the believe on this side because the world is fallen and you 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 have a body which is fallen and you have dominated with the five senses think of one of the thing what i see is like 
the weakness of the flesh that Bible talks about is that you have an affinity to believe the five senses. We the way a manishana, the man that is fallen, he has the tendency to give more importance to what he feels with the five senses. You see that? You see, that is the world. When Jesus was here, he was never fallen. The think about it, his affinity was always on the sixth sense, which is the faith. We have the tendency to stay in the five senses because we've fallen. So that's why we need to be in the body of Christ. There is no way a single believer can believe this and say, I'm going to believe. No, 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 you need uh, a mutual encouragement. This like fellowship like this is like encouraging. Don't worry, whatever you felt, you felt sickness, you felt like uh, uh, some of the negative things which, which you, you never thought it to show, show up, but you said, no, 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 that's not what you are. That's the old man who's trying to come out, but no, you just believe it's dead. He that is dead is freed from sin. Amen. He that is, can you believe you're dead? Yes. <laughs> if, if God said you're dead in Christ, you're dead. Irrespective of whatever you see, irrespective of whatever you see here, irrespective of whatever things that can uh, change your mind, you said, No, 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 I don't believe that. That's a lie. What do you guys in the name of the Karta, the Eva Vajanati, Nola, Alata, Dono Satyola? That's a manifestation of the lie. The only truth is in the word of God. Whatever you experience now, which is not aligned with the word of God, is a lie. To turn you back to the old man's life. That's why if you because like this is what you are. The world has a tendency, that is the warfare. That's the warfare in the believer's life is that we have a tendency to live by what we experience. We have a tendency. All of us. The more we focus, what I see is like the more we start up focusing on who we are in Christ, what we are seeing is that, I said before, like we are going to see a new reality in Christ. Are you seeing that? Namala, actually, Adonda Varanjikin, the Ravagalilla, Namala meditate you. I'm going to meditate you. What I see in my life is like, it's not something we struggle that I'm going to meditate, I'm going to, it just happens. Because Namala, Nalla food, Kadikim, Kadikim, Namaka, and struggle on Donalla food. It just happens. You wanted to eat it. Just like that, as you grow and grow, and like you are, the whole senses are like focusing towards like, oh my God, this is something. Because amazing thing when we started seeing that, when we started experiencing that, nothing of this world will be attractive anymore. That's why like, that's why you become totally focused on who you are in Christ and you get less attracted to the things of this world. It just happens. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's when you grow deeper into who you are in Christ, what is happening is that you just completely detach from the world. Think about uh, 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 Apostle Paul. <laughs> they didn't care about the world. They didn't care about anything of this world. Is it a decision that they took it on one day? No. It just happens by aligning. Aligning with what happened to him. I'm going to get it. Are you, are you seeing it? It, it? it is not an effort. It is like you started, oh my God, this is what I am. This is what I am. So what happens is like your tendency to believe who you are in Christ is getting bigger. And when you start growing and growing, what happens is that all the five senses what is, that is talking to you, just ignore it. No, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. See, that's why the body of Christ is essential. Very essential is that you, you and me need fellowship, one another. Because like we are living in a world which is fallen. We have tendency to believe on what happened in the five senses. The body of Christ is encouraging each other. Are you, are you seeing it? Huh? I am going into something really powerful, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I wanted to. Um, when you read the Romans, uh, when you read the Bible, I, I said it before also. Read the whole epistle at one sitting. 
Like when you read Romans, read the whole, I think 16 chapters or 17 chapters. <laughs> read all the letter in one sitting. And then try to evaluate what is Paul trying to say it. The problem what happened to, to most of us is like we read five, uh, one chapter today and one chapter. Then you don't even know what you read yesterday. You, you sit, you sit and read the whole thing until you get what this author is trying to tell you. Once you get a grasp of what this author is trying to tell you, then you can slowly read it. Are you understand what I'm saying? So first of all, like you get an, uh, what do you call it, a bird's eye or a high level, um, what do you call it, um, a high level overview of the, of the letter. What, what is Paul trying to tell you? Read it many times. Like I, I think I read these Romans like in the last couple of months, like uh, at least uh, 10, 20 times. Read, read, back and forth. See, every time I read it, I say, oh my God, God, it is so clear why the world is not reading it. It is so clear. Why it is clear to me? Because I'm keep reading, keep reading. Every time I'm reading it, I'm seeing, oh my God, it is so clear to me. So you take your time because it's no more excuse. That's why Papa Mini Namalda Mel Wider. There is no more excuse because it's already done. It's your, it's our duty to know it, reckon it. Because everything is done. You and me have to, believing is not, believing is like, you just ask God, like, God, give me the, give me the, uh, the hunger to read it. Give me the hunger. Give me the hunger. You started, once you started getting into it, it just happens. It just happens. Okay. Um, now, this is very powerful. Okay. Wherefore, my brethren, you also are, what happened? Also become dead to the law by the body of Christ. Something powerful, I'm going to reveal it here. That you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Where are you going to go? Ningalum Kustuinde, Sharira Mugandra, Nai Pramana Samandama, Marichirikino. The usage here is not body of Jesus, it's body of Christ. There is a difference between body of Jesus and body of Christ. The body of Jesus received the sin of the whole world. And went through the cross, died, buried. Now the body of Christ is a church. <laughs> okay, now okay. Nam Jadatil Ayrana Paul, Nai Pramanata Lulavaya, Pava Ragatil, Pava Ragangal, Maranatil Falan Kai, Kitakavana, Namura Avangal, we have a Jadatil Ayrana Paul. Ningalipa Jadatilano, Allah, Jadavanda. You have the flesh, you have the body, but once you believe Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are no more in the flesh, you are in the body of Christ. Once you are in the body of Christ, you are not under the law, you are under the life of Christ. <coughs> so now you see that when sickness manifests in your body, what you should say that, no, 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 this has been received, this wages, Whatever, maybe lack of exercise or maybe whatever you're doing it negatively or whatever the, is the sickness manifested. But you can stand and say that, that received, that Jesus received the wages of this on his body. Now I'm in his body of Christ. Now we are in the body of Christ. Now we are in the body of Christ. Now we are in the body of Christ. I think it's a, there's a struggle. There's a struggle there. Okay, the struggle is understanding the previous thing. Go back to the, so it says, you also become dead to the law by the body of Christ. So that... Yeah, that's where I am. If you are a person who is not born again, or who have received, who have been received the Jesus as the Lord and Savior, you are an independent person who is living by your flesh. Five senses. But if you're born again, what happens is that you are in the body of Christ now. 
you are a member of the body of Christ. Now your activities are based on who you are in the body. So now, when you are in the flesh, you are, you are, you are uh, uh, driven by the law. But once you are in the body of Christ, you are no longer driven by the law. You are dead to the law. You are in Christ. Now you are driven by the life of Christ. I'll go slowly. I'll go slowly. I know it is tough. Like it is. Better, better. Okay. Naam jadatle ayirna pol. Naay pramana thal olavaya paabar angal maranatti ne falam kai kitta kona. Nammude avayavangal vyabiri chuvuno. Nammalum dechike padatta oru vekti in dhamil nokia le. Ella oru vala thanna. But the difference is in you believing. You believe. Though I have the same body like a person who is not born again, but I am in the body of Christ. My motives, my actions are based on who I am in Christ. I am the body of Christ. So if I am not in the body of Christ, I am, I am, I am driven by the law. But if I am in the body of Christ, I am driven by the life of Christ. See how we experience death in the body of Adam. We are experiencing life in the body of Christ. Exactly. Yeah. When Adam fell, we experienced death. Now, when Christ rose up, we are experiencing life with him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> മനസ്സിലായിരിക്കും <laughs> Eshuvinde, okay, I think we'll slow, go slowly. If I am an independent person, if I am not a born again person, I am not a part of the body of Christ, I am totally me, by myself, I am driven by the five senses. But when you are born again, you become a part of the body of Christ. Maybe I am a finger, toenail, I am a finger, this thing. So now this finger, I'm, I am a person, but I am a member of the body of Christ. So now this part... is by this part in the all activity is based on the life that is flowing if i'm not this part if i'm not connected with the body of christ i'm an independent person living by my five senses but once i'm in the body i'm driven by the life is it is it clear yes, yes. Huh? clear or no yes That's why, like, you can't live in your life. You can't live in your life. You can't live in your body. You can't live in your body. You can't live in your body. You're reckoning the life. You can't live in your body. 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 Are you seeing it? You're not no longer an independent person. You are in the body. You can't live in your body. ഇത് ഇത് ഒരു പേഴ്സണായിട്ട് ജീവിക്കുമായിരുന്നു വിചാരിച്ചു ഈ ഒരു ഫിംഗർ ഒരു പേഴ്സണായിരുന്നു ടോം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു പേഴ്സൺ രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെടുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് ഇതൊരു പേഴ്സണായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ നിൽക്കുമായിരുന്നു രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ശരീരത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഫിംഗർ ആക്കി മാറ്റി ഇനി ടോം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു പേഴ്സൺ അല്ല ടോം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ശരീരത്തിൻ്റെ ഫിംഗറാ ഇനി ഈ ഫിംഗർ അങ്ങോട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാം ഇല്ലേ ഇതിനെല്ലാം ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്താ ഈ ലൈഫിൻ്റെ ഫ്ലോ ഇതിനകത്തോട്ട് വരുന്ന ലൈഫിൻ്റെ ഫ്ലോ അനുസരിച്ച് ഈ ഫിംഗറിൻ്റെ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി മൊത്തം ഇതിന് മുമ്പ് ഈ ഫിംഗർ ഇവിടെ ആയിരുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് ഒരു ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ അതിന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങോട്ട് പോകാം ഇങ്ങോട്ട് പോകാം എന്ത് വേണം ചെയ്യാം സോ നൗ വൺസ് യു ആർ ഇൻ ദ ബോഡി ഓഫ് കൈ യു ഡോ നീഡ് ദ ലോ അഡ് യു സീൻ ദറ്റ് വെൻ യു ആർ സിംഗിൾ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ യു നീഡ് ദ ലോ ബിക്കോസ് നൗ ഇതിന് ഈ ഫിംഗറിന് അതിൻ്റെതായ ഒരു ചിന്ത ജീവിക്കേണ്ട ആവശ്യമില്ല ടോം പോകുന്നിടത്തെല്ലാം ഇതും പോവും ഇത് കണക്ട് ചെയ്ത് നിൽക്കുക അത് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എനിക്ക് ഇപ്പൊ ഇത് ഒരു ഫിംഗർ ഒരു പേഴ്സൺ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഈ പേഴ്സൺ ഇനി തിങ്ക് ചെയ്യേണ്ട സ്റ്റാറ്റൻ ആയാലും പോകണമെന്ന് ഇനി എന്തോ വിചാരിച്ചാലും ഈ ഫിംഗർ മാത്രം ചിന്തിച്ചാൽ പറ്റത്തില്ല ഈ ബാഡി മൊത്തം പോകുമ്പോഴേ പോകത്തുള്ളൂ ആർ യു ആർ യു ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദ പോയിന്റ് യു നോട്ട് യു നോ ലോങ്ങർ അണ്ടർ ദ ലോ എനി മോർ ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ അണ്ടർ യു ഡെറ്റ് ടു ദ ലോ ഈ ഈ ലോ എന്തിനാ കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ഈ വീണ് പോയ മനുഷ്യനെ വീണ്ടും ദൈവത്തിങ്കിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ വേണ്ടി ആയിരുന്നു ന്യായ പ്രമാണം കൊടുത്തത് ഓൺ 
on the body of Christ, right? The body of Christ didn't go through the suffering. The body of Jesus went through the yeah, suffering. The body of Jesus. And which enabled you to be part of the body of Christ. Yes. Once you're in the body of Christ, you're experiencing the life of Jesus. Life. Yeah, life. I understood the previous verse because that's where I guess the, the confusion is. It's saying the body, because you're differentiating the body of Christ with the physical body versus the, the, the other body. Yeah. Now, now you see that in him, Romans Pandran Nathu Varanan, the Loga, the Ningal Logat Karepore Agarit on the Varanan Rio, in him, end the life lay, end the Thiraman Angalum, end the life lay, all actions, I am believing that I am a part of, I am a finger only. In Mumbai, Nana Tikating in a Maranikua. Any good only well and Jivigan. But once you're born again and you, you understood that I'm a part of the body of Christ, it's no longer me controlling everything, it's Him. He's, he's driven by the life. He's life in a flow. Because the life is a flow. That flow is an animation. Oh, I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Because now the thing, but that flow will happen only believing. He flow is a flow. Believe you, oh my God, I'm a body of Christ. I'm a part of the body of Christ. So now the thing is, if you have a finger, you can have a function. You can have a function. You just relax. The life will take care of it. Yes. 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 Because you are in the body of Christ, you are a member of the body of Christ. Now, since you are in the body of Christ, it is driven by the life of Christ. You are no longer under the law, you are dead to the law. Adam individualized or Pavan Chedu mentioned Deva Maitrola connection with the Pertekana. You need the Naya Pramana because there is no connection with God. You need to decide. Deva Magatilatavan and Naya Pramana went other. They were not the one of any name, they were not an icon of the Naipur Nathalla because what your, what your knowledge of good and evil may be not right. Your knowledge about good and your knowledge about good is different. You cannot decide what is good and bad. Only one person knows what is good and bad, that is God Himself. Is it, is it clear? Is it clear? Huh? Okay, we are finishing. So when we were in the flesh, Okay, now this is where this is where we have to understand. When we were in the flesh, but don't you have the flesh now? We still have the flesh. But you have to think that I still have the flesh, but I'm in the body of Christ. I still have a flesh. I still have a flesh that is liable to get sickness, but when I believe I'm in the body of Christ, there is no sickness on the body of Christ because the body of Jesus has received the wages of the uh, wages of the sin and received the sickness. Therefore, the body of Christ cannot have any sickness. 